We are on Shavua Perak Aleph Mishnah Zayin. Seventh Mishnah, the first chapter of Mesechet Shavua. Our Mishnah is a continuation of the last Mishnah. We talked about the Seir Mishdaleach, and the Seir Mishdaleach offers a tremendous amount of kapara, the goat that's thrown over the cliff on Yom Kippur morning, Yom Kippur day, is, it offers kapara for Shara Ve'oshe Batara, Kalot, Chamerot, many, many, uh, many, many sins that people could do. Uh, the Seir Mishalech offers kapara. So who is it offered for? The Mishnah says, Echad Yisraelim, the Tana Kama says, Echad Yisraelim, Echad Kohanim, Echad Kohen Mashuach. doesn't matter whether it's Yisraelim, the Kohanim, or the Kohen Mashuach, the anointed Kohen. Okay, all of them are included in the Seir Mishalech without any difference. So therefore, Ma Ben Yisraelim, the Kohanim, the Kohen Mashuach. Okay, so what's the difference between Yisraelim, and Kohanim, and Kohen Mashuach? There is a difference. Why? In order to understand this, you have to read the Psukim. Okay, so the Torah says that on Yom Kippur morning, this is the beginning of a Yukar Perak Tet Zayin. Okay, this is what you should do. Da 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 da. Bezod Yaron of Akodesh, Bepar Ben Bakar Lechatat. The Kohen brings a par Lechatat. Okay, he brings an, a, 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 bo, a ram. What does he do with this ram? So there's another Chatat, in addition to the three we said. We're going to see in a second. The Kriv Aron et Parachatat Asherlo. He brought, offers the Parachatat. And he has a, a kapara for himself and for beto and for his household. So what kind of kapara do they need if they already got the Sirah Mishdalev? Let's go back to our chart that we had. We said, oh, we'll dedicate our learning to Rebbe, my father. So we said that there was the Sirah Hanasa Bifnim, Sirah Hanasa Bachut, Sirah Mishdalev, and now we also have the par chatat, the aharon, so the Sir Khatat was for Aaron and Vanaf for the Kohanim. So what what do they need if they already if it's already all all inclusive, then what do they need? What else you know, what else do they have to have kapara for? So remember we learned that Tumat Migdash Bekadashab, okay? Komash is Ira Panimi Mechaper Israel. We learned that this Ira Panimi is Mechaper Tumat Migdash. So let, let's see. We, we had our chart here. Okay, that this ear bifnim. Okay, so ear bifnim was over here. So Okay, that it was tole. So that was for only the Jewish people. But now the, the Tanakhama is saying that for the Kohanim, they have, that's what they have their power for. It's something. Different. Also, the kapara of the seir chitzon. Also, let's go back to our chart. The seir outside seir, seir bachutz, and didi abatchila yesh liyabasov. So these two things. So for the kohanim, the Tanakhama says, for the for the seirei arigal, the for the kohanim. That's why they have the par of the kohanim that the kohen gadol offers. That's the difference between the two. That's the that's the Tanakhama. Abishimon and Abishimon says, no. Kishem shedam ha-seir nasa bifnim mechaper ha-Yisrael. Just like the dam of the sa'ir, we're going to see. Abishimon says the difference between the dam of the sa'ir and the, and the sorry, the dam of the vidui, uh, uh, the dam of the par, I'm sorry, and the vidui. We'll see in a second. Abishimon omer. Kishem shedam ha-seir nasa bifnim mechaper ha-Yisrael. Just like the blood, the slaughtering of the sa'ir, offers a kapar for Yisrael. The dam of the par is mechaper al but there's not just the slaughtering itself. There's something called vidui. Kishem she vidui shall see our mishnah lech mechaper al Yisrael. The vidui, the the viduyo. When he says the coin gadol says the uh, the the confession of the seir mishnah lech for all of the Jewish people. Kach viduyo she par mechaper al koanim. Rabbi Shimon he learns that from the psukim. You have to distinguish between the between the between the the dam of the par. And the vidui of the par, the slaughtering of the par, and the confession. So the slaughtering of the seir bifnim is for the Jewish people for tumat migdash. So if too, the slaughtering of the par is mechaper of the kohanim offers a kapara for kohanim. Okay, dam apar below shum vidui mechaper al kohanim. He doesn't need the dam of the par is mechaper on tumat migdash mekadashav. Okay, and then you have a vidui of the par. Okay, that's also for the kohanim b'shar averot. Meaning. The Rabbi Shimon says that the power is for the Kohen Kohanim, not only for not only for Tumat Migdash and Kadashav, but the power is also for the Kohanim for everything else. But the dam of the power is for Tumat Migdashav. And the dam of and the vidui of the power is for 
everything else for all the other sins for the Koranim, just like the Seir is for everything else for everybody else. We'll stop here. We dedicate our link to memory of Father. It's a little bit confusing, but hopefully it's a, made it as clear as, as I could. Have a great day.